Hello YouTube, today I'm going to show you how to add G-verb effect to vocal track in Audacity. First, open to Audacity, and here I have the instrumental track Numb by Usher and my vocal track to the part of it. So I'm going to add G-verb to my vocal track, right? Now basically there are two ways to add G-verb to your track. The first one is adding G-verb directly to the track. To do this, select the track you want to add the G-verb and go to effect and all the way down to G-verb. Right now, I'm not going to explain this everything, this stuff. It's so you can you can you can find some presets in the web. So. I'll give you some links down in the video and you can see the webs and uh, see what this stuff do. So now I'm gonna tell you some important facts when you add G-verb. So first of all, if you wanna get some G-verb effect, this early reflection level should be higher than tail level. If the dif difference between these two sliders is 10 or above, it will give you a uh, G-verb effect, right? So it should be the difference should be more than 10 or higher value to get a G-verb effect. And <coughs> dry signal level means if you keep this slider here, then it's in zero, right? It means you have the G-verb effect and your original voice in the output. If you keep it here, all the way down here, uh, minus 70, that means you have only the G-verb effect. It doesn't have the original sound of your track. So I'm adding the G-verb directly, so I need the original track too. So I keep it here. And let's see, first of all, what this this gonna looks like. Yeah, unfortunately, that's a good preset, so you will press hit OK. See, now I'll play this. Really, it's really cool. Do you hate it? So that's a uh, one way G verb and the other ways and my favorite method get a copy of this track don't don't add G verb directly to the track get the copy of this track and I have it right here this is a copy of this track and you can add G verb to this track so you can keep this track original track in the same way so it's a good, good advantage, right? And select the copy, go to effect, and G-verb. Now, before we add the G-verb effect, I'll tell you, this is the dry track. Right? We don't do any different in this track. This is the wet track, and this is the track we're going to add G-verb. So, make sure, just make sure in this method, you keep this slider right down here. Dry signal level is minus 70 because you use this both of these tracks. So you have the original track, so you don't need any original sound in this track. So keep it right here. So you're adding only the G verb effect to this track. And you can customize these other sliders as you like. So this is good. This is good for me. And one other thing, if you take this slider uh, in this side, right? Compare this only these two sliders. If you get this slide uh, to the left side of this slider, it gives you a distance effect, right? If uh, the difference between these two sliders is 10 or above, when this slider is in left side of this slider it gives you a distance effect right keep in mind when you add g-verb so now 
I'm not going to add any distance effects right now I'm gonna get zero effect so I keep it right here so difference is okay let's see Good. now you heard the only the zero effect there is in you it's only the zero effect so yeah it applied right now we need the original track too so we need play both of these tracks at the same time like this right I, I, I'll go ahead and play this same output but the significant advantage of this method is that you can adjust the volume of this, this track G verb track while you listen to the music so that's the advantage and this is the professional way of adding gvo right so try this one uh, rather than the first method so comment down below the video if you have any questions and I'll see what I can do so that's it guys thank you for watching my video see you from another video